Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1984 movie, A Nightmare on Elm Street. So, this is directed by Wes Craven and also written by him, and follows Nancy Thompson, a young high school girl who, along with her boyfriend Glenn and their friends, are being terrorized by an evil entity, entity in their sleep that kills them, named Freddy Krueger. Um, as the movie progresses, we find out that Freddy was a child murderer who was killed by the parents of Springfield, and he is out to get his revenge and the dreams of the children that he didn't get to kill. And stuff there, the, the children of the parents of Springwood. Um, this is a, a great movie. Uh, I've already reviewed it once before, but it's been a really long time since the last time I reviewed it. It was like 2018. And uh, since I've free reviewed all of the other big movies in the uh, Sinister Six franchises, I thought I'd go ahead and start working on the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise so I could start redoing my ranking for the Sinister Six. But I thought I'd go ahead and review this one again um and my thoughts on it really haven't changed a whole lot i've watched it a couple times since the last time i watched it to do my last review i got to see it in the theater a couple years ago and it, it is always a blast getting to see older horror movies on the big screen and everything and this is definitely one of the ones that was definitely worth getting to see on the big screen it, it is such a great movie and just everything about it i absolutely love the atmosphere of the movie and uh it just has a dreadful atmosphere from the very beginning of the movie and charles bernstein's score is just it's perfect for for this franchise and for this movie especially it just fits the tone perfectly and has an eerie creepiness to it that just helps with the atmosphere of the movie um and there's some really really great moments in here too that are just genuine genuinely creepy especially at the beginning when uh tina's having her big nightmare that she gets killed in and stuff and she's like freddy's chasing her down the street and he's like has his arms out and he's laughing and stuff as he's chasing her just that scene every time i watch it it just gives me goosebumps for some reason it's just really creepy and then he like starts cutting off his fingers and stuff He's like, watch this, and he cuts his fingers off, and they squirt blood. It's really, really gruesome and everything, but it, it just is awesome, and it's part of what makes Freddy so creepy in this movie is just his little weird things that he does and everything. I just think Robert Englund was absolutely perfect as Freddy in this movie. He, he's great as Freddy in all of them, but this is, this is one of his best portrayals of Freddy. And he looks creepy and stuff. I love his designs and stuff. He looks pretty cool. And uh, then you get the cast too. It has a really, really strong, solid cast. Um, aside from Robert England as Freddie, you got Nancy Thompson played by Heather Langenkamp. And she's just absolutely perfect as Nancy. And uh, she's one of my favorite final girls, if not my favorite final girl. I just love Nancy. She's just a very lovable character. And Heather Le Heather Leggenkamp just does such a great job playing her. And then you got uh, Johnny Depp in here in his very first movie role as Glenn. And he gets the most memorable kill out of the movie, or arguably the most memorable kill, because you could say Tina's death was pretty good too. And the actress that plays Tina, I think her name was Amanda Weiss. I think she, she does a good job playing Tina. Um, and, uh, uh, Nick Corey is Rod is is pretty good too. He, he he's one that that everyone thinks killed Tina because Freddie, of course, nobody could see Freddie, so uh, he gets framed for a murder. But he, he he does a good job too. All of the main cast are good in their roles, except for I never liked uh, Nancy's mom. Her dad doesn't bother me. I think John. Uh, uh, John Saxton, I uh, had to make sure I said his name right, uh, he, he's really good as 
Nancy's father uh, and everything. I think he, he does a pretty good job playing Lieutenant Thompson and everything. Uh, but then you have uh, her mom, though, who is one of my least favorite characters in the Tower movie, Marge Thompson, played, played by Ronnie Blakely. I just feel like her acting is just really over the top and she overacts every time she speaks any of her dialogue and her, she just, but the character herself, she's a, kind of a deadbeat mom somewhat. She's drunk and not a very likable character anyway. So I already don't really like her because of that, but the performance didn't really do anything for me either. Um, but she's really the only person in the movie that I didn't really care for. You even get a cool little appearance from Lynn Shay before she became big and stuff too, when she was starting out in the 80s. So you got a lot of cool stars and stuff in here, but it, it, it's really good cast. Everybody fits the roles perfectly. And like I said, the atmosphere of the movie is part of what makes it so good because it, it feels dreadful from the minute it starts. Like you know that you're about to witness some crazy stuff go on just from that opening scene and everything and the weird noises that you hear at the beginning of the movie when they're in the dream sequence and stuff it just it's perfect uh, like I said I love this movie and as far as the kills go uh, Johnny Depp's death uh, is probably the most memorable one for most people he gets sucked into the bed and shoots up as this big giant fountain of blood. It's awesome. Uh, really awesome special effects in that scene. And I love uh, Tina's death too, which is the first kill of, of the movie and of the franchise. It's it's a really, really cool kill too. So uh, I love that too. And I like how they kind of kind of tricked, tricked the audience into thinking Tina was going to be the final girl and she ends up dying at the beginning of the first act. And Nancy takes over from there. I like that too. I thought that was kind of cool. But all in all, I think that A Nightmare on Elm Street is still a really great movie. It holds up very well. And I always enjoy it every time I watch it. It's just a really fun movie. And not only did it give us the horror icon that is Freddy Krueger, we also got the legendary actor that is Johnny Depp because of this movie. So there's something else to even be, to be even to love even more about this movie is this is the one that started Johnny Depp's movie career. Um, but all in all, it, it's a, a great movie. It's a lot of fun and everything. My biggest flaw with it is the ending. The, the ending could have been way better. I didn't really like the, the way that, that she just set up all those Home Alone traps and stuff, which this was before Home Alone. But every time I think of booby traps in a movie, how I always think of Home Alone. and. That part didn't bother me quite as bad if they would have just executed the ending a little bit better instead of making a dream sequence and sequel bait ending. I kind of wish they would have just stuck with Wes Craven's original ending. They didn't like have any sequel bait endings. They could have still gone on with the sequel. They found ways to bring him back in the sequels anyway. They could have found a way to bring him back even if without the sequel bait ending, but that's really my biggest flaw with the movie was the ending. Uh, I, I wish it just would have done something a little different. To, uh, aside from that though, it, it's a great movie and everything. I'd say I'd give it a 9 out of 10. That, the only reason it doesn't get the full 10 out of 10 is because it, of the ending. That, that really does take it down a little bit for me. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of this movie. Uh, do you love Nightmare on Elm Street? Do you think it's overrated? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments and I hope you enjoy this video and uh, I'll be doing the rest of the movies throughout the next couple weeks hopefully so they may not all be at once like I used to do but I'll at least get them all done within I'm gonna try to have them all done within the next few days or couple weeks at least maybe by the end of the month but at least within the next couple weeks I'll have them done but anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of Nightmare on Elm Street. I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.